When you record a lot, your voice gets a little <clears throat> All right, I'll stop. The other day I was like, all right, I'm not being as productive as I'd like to be. And also I was getting some feedback from the community saying, hey, you're just doing building videos for like how to make a second brain and the Notion app system, which obviously were great for my course mastering Notion, <laughs> which you can get in the comment section down below. But I hadn't done a straight up tutorial on how to improve your productivity using Notion in a while. So I heard you and actually thought about how I can improve my own productivity using the best platform that exists. <laughs> Microsoft Loop, <laughs> rip off. Okay, so when looking at my new task management dashboard in my actions page, You'll notice that I have things grouped together by priority, but there's this weird thing called MRT backlog that I want to explain. So when focusing on building better productive habits, I have tried my best to reduce my screen time and to implement some little hacks here and there while not going overboard on how to live a more intentional and productive life. In your day-to-day -day tasks, there are going to be situations where you're gonna to wanna to just get on your phone, how's my email looking, that sort of thing. And I've used a couple different apps to limit my screen time in that sense, but then I just sit there sometimes and relax, which is totally fine, but I do it for these random spurts of times that aren't intentional and I still get distracted by the couple apps I leave on my phone. And a good way I found to take mental breaks is to utilize a system that I like to call the MRT backlog. So for those of you that are unaware, there is something called multiple resource theory. From my understanding of it, multiple resource theory essentially breaks down and asserts that people have a limited set of resources available for mental processes. So there's a couple graphs. I never find anything good on this thing. But if we go to Google Images and look at it, you'll see there's like spatial, verbal, auditory, and like these different ways you can look at it. It's just not, there's not very, there's not a good explanation of it. I guess the best way that I can put it is that you can't read something while you're listening to something because that's both using language interpretation, but you can understand numbers or just do base cl clicky clacky or base cleaning while you're interpreting text because those are two different brain resources. And for me, it works. I listen to audiobooks a lot and I really focus on trying to do multitasking correctly because with multiple resource theory, if you're not really able to multitask by doing two linguistic things at the same time, at least you can do it with two separate types of things. Now, where does this come into place? All right, sometimes I have meetings. I have an assistant, I have an editor. I work at a job where sometimes there's large meetings. And you know what? Sometimes in meetings you don't need to take notes, especially if you're an auditory learner like me. And I have every meeting record at Rise Productive automatically, so taking notes would be a waste of time since it gets transcribed. So what I end up doing is I focus on the text that is being spoken to me while I am also doing things in my MRT backlog. Now, what is the point of this? I believe that a tidy home creates a clear mental space. For those of you that are unaware, I am a minimalist. I only wear one shirt all the time. I have a gray one that I never really whip out for videos, but I really just don't have a lot of things. And I like to have a clean home. And with that requires some different things. So in Notion, what I ended up doing was I had a priority checklist of what is my high priority task that I do during focused work blocks and then are what are things on the backlog where if I'm either a in a meeting and can multitask B on the phone with like family or friends and can multitask doing physical laborious things or C I'm like taking a walk and I can also audio journal because those are obviously two different resources I can use my MRT backlog to have a mental cue of like, okay, one, I wanna take a break mentally. What is something physical that I can do to like clear my mind? Or if I'm in one of those meeting or call situations, I can also look at this list. So what I essentially did was I took a priority property in Notion and have a bunch of different recurring tasks that are set up like this. The majority of these tasks are not necessarily habits, but things I really should keep up to keep up a tidy home, or I mean, in situations like this, pay off my dang credit cards. And this also kind of incorporates things like shallow work into your day for when like, all right, you've done your deep work for the day, you can't really get any more deep work done. Let's just focus on the shallow things that don't require a lot of mental brain capacity. And this really helps me separate what's a high priority task and just something that's in the backlog that like arbitrarily is all like the same, like it's all the same, what does it matter? So what I can do here is go to a new page and give you an example of how this works. So I'm gonna do it called the MRT backlog system. And what we can do here is, I'm gonna go to the top right, make a full width page. 
and let's get building this database. So if I backslash slash database, I'm gonna call this MRT backlog. I'm just gonna call this task system or just tasks. And then I can view the database, add an icon. You know me, I like a little checkbox action, which I gotta say, Notion, you're doing great on adding new icons recently. And then number two, I'm just gonna add a property that's gonna be a checkbox, close this guy out. And then I'm going to make a select property that I'm gonna call priority. Then I'm gonna do a date property. And after I create the date property, I am then going to make a created time property, which is also important. Last but not least, I'm going to do a very important thing, which is make something called a real date formula. With recurring tasks in Notion, as many of you are aware, unfortunately, you cannot assign dates to it. It only really works based off of the created time functionality. So you have to get a little bit fun with it. So I'm gonna make a formula property. And then with this formula, I'm gonna rename it to real date. And after we do that, you can go to this icon if you so choose. And I like to add a little calendar icon just so that I know that like it is a date property. And then if we click on this formula right here, what we can do is we can do if the empty parentheses, and then we pick the property date equals true. So what this is basically saying is if this property date is true, and then we can do a comma, which means then in an if then formula in Notion, we do a selection of created time. So now this is saying, if this date property is empty, then it's gonna pick the created time by default. Else, let's pick the date property by then selecting this. And then to close it all out, we're gonna do a final parentheses. Now we did miss a parentheses here, and that would be right here. Because essentially this required a parentheses right here. So I'll just copy this formula, and then you can press accept here, or done. And essentially, as you can see, none of these date properties are filled out. But when I fill out any of these date properties, this real date will get overridden. So I'm gonna adjust this and let's select 25th. So then this adjusts it so that basically I change the time from being just the created time to the real date. Now I won't lie to you, things get a little bit interesting in the way that this filtering works for like a task I need to get done now view, but I do wanna make it clear this is something that has helped me a lot and I think can help you a lot. So bear with me here. So let's make a view by adding a little plus icon here and just calling it today. Just to like clarify the fact that this is like tasks I, I need to do right now. And then we can go to here and uh, put a little check box here or a check mark here. And then I like to hide this database title. And I also like to change this to, you can either do a list database view or a table view. For now, we're gonna leave it as a table view and we're gonna move this over here. And we're gonna just leave this date property showing and hide out the created time. And instead of having the property show like that for priority, we're gonna actually group this by pressing the three dots here and going group and then selecting priority. Now we do have to make some options for it to separate. So we're going to do high, medium, and then low. And then lastly, we're going to do one called MRT backlog. And I like grouping it in this order. So like having MRT backlog second, make that red, you can make this purple or pink, make this yellow, and make that gray for low. And then we can group the order in the same way. So just like this, and then we can hide priority here and hide real dates. Now you can obviously add a tag property if you wanted. So like a multi-select that says where the task is from, that's totally up to you. And I also like to move the no priority to the bottom as a sort of like inbox. So this is what it'd look like if it was in a table view. I'm gonna now show you what it'd look like in a list view. So we're gonna do just a today again, but change it to list. So we're gonna do list and then go to the group feature. And then once again, make sure it's ordered in that same way as we had before. High, MRT backlog, medium and low. Do the same thing for the table. And then from there, we can go to the properties here and just show date checkbox and the multi-select that could be tags if you wanna rename that to tags. Now, what then is gonna be the fun thing is filtering this to what is relevant. So in like a today view, 
What I like to see is just necessarily what tasks do I need to have remaining to check off. I don't really like seeing what I've already checked off. So we can go filter, advanced, and then we're gonna select the checkbox. So for all this, it's like, it's unchecked. Like we don't want any of those to be checked. But then what we're gonna do is turn this into a group. So what turning into a group does is it combines a lot of the different filters together rather than it being just an AND function over and over again. We're grouping the AND functions like this or the OR functions. Because when you make another filter in Notion, you only have the option to do AND or OR. Once you select one of those, once you made another, make another filter, it's just gonna keep doing OR or AND, measuring out what the first choice was. As you can see, can't choose again below. So in this case, we're gonna either wanna have tasks that are from like my high priority or medium priority that like are actually assigned to do them today, or gonna just wanna do things in the backlog, which is like chores and like mindless things that we do need to get done, but aren't necessarily like crazy urgent. So we're gonna do in this filter group, status, or sorry, checkbox is unchecked, and the date is on or before today. Now the reason for that is, what if you didn't do something that was required that was actually urgent yesterday? Uh, you don't wanna have that not showing up on your task list the next day, then you forget altogether. And say you're working in a team, you can also add a person property and assign it to yourself. That's an option you have here. Not gonna show that in this video. Now the or option here is you turn this into a group. You do priority is MRT backlog and status, sorry, and checkbox is unchecked and real time or real date, sorry, is on or before today. So this would then bring in any of the items that were automatically created with the created time, since in recurring tasks in Notion, it's gonna use the created time. Or if say, for example, you put something manually into the MRT backlog or you move one of your recurring tasks later, it would then pick up on it. Now we're gonna save this for everybody and then get going on a couple examples. So a couple real world examples is today, I gotta to record video, then some low priority items would be fix new microphone for Chance, who's my podcast co-host. So that's a couple examples there. I will say, I'm gonna make a new template, pick a default icon and have it be a check mark, set as default, so that I don't have to deal with watching these anymore. So I can just make a new one and do a record video. God, I, I hate looking at this, this just, that's ugly. So now, what we can do is we can go to the template button over here and go to new template. Now in new template, what we're going to make sure we do is select a priority that makes sense. So we got MRT backlog right here, and that's gonna be the priority. Now remember, anytime a recurring task is gonna be made, it's gonna use the created time and then assign that real date to it based off of it, and then we can use the date property to overwrite it later. But here are some examples of ones that I have. So I'm gonna select coffee from an icon standpoint, and I'm gonna put make coffee prepare coffee for tomorrow. Now, this is a daily task. This is something that like, I need to do every day in order for the next day to be prepared. Some people lay out their clothes, I don't need to do that. <laughs> and what we can do is you can press repeat and then do every day. All right, let's do save now. So then what I would recommend you do is go through all your daily tasks that are required, but a little bit uh, less habity and more like, all right, do the thing. And do duplicate and then I Swiffer every day. Okay, so Swiffer, let's pick Sweep, and then I like to make this a blue icon. All right, now, what do these have in common? We can add some tags to them. Let's actually do a cleaning, we can do that. All right, just add a little tag to it. And I'll go back and edit the template for the Swiffer and do the same thing. Cleaning, all right, and then duplicate this. And then let's do Dust, I, I do Dust every day. I'm cleaner than a lot of people think. Not that anyone on the internet would think I'm not clean. I don't know why they'd think that. But anyways, I'm duplicating all the daily habits. Another one that I do is, you know, let's get out of the daily habits. Now you can duplicate this and pick more of like a work-related thing. So let's do uh, email and then change this to respond to email. And then let's do work. Now for me, I actually only respond to Rise Productive emails three days a week. So I would go here and change this to repeat every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So then now it would only do it on those days. Then another example for like an every week thing 
is that I do meal planning on Wednesdays. So meal planning, we do, do food that looks delicious. And we change this to uh, growth because I'm trying to get better at cooking. And finally, we would then edit this to on Wednesdays. That's it. I uncheck these, I press save. And then what would happen is they'd run at the beginning of the day and I'm just gonna manually check these by pressing on all of them to show you what they would look like if it was the start of the day. So then this would be an example Wednesday for me. I would need to prepare coffee for tomorrow. So if for example, I'm in a meeting, I can just look at my little backlog and be like, oh yeah, I probably prepped the coffee for tomorrow. Do that really quick, check it off. I could then do a Swiffering session on the ground and sweep while I'm on the call. I could dust, I can meal plan during a call with my parents of just being like, oh, what, uh, let's, uh, let's go through my little meal planning and notion, what recipes do I wanna pick? And I could also respond to emails while I'm on the phone with a friend uh, regarding like just going through the email, maybe not typing it out. This is the kind of stuff that works for me. So I then during focus sessions could only focus on the tasks that I needed to. And during the times when like, I'm really distracted, can't get any focus work done, I can just do manual labor things. To, to check that off the list and actually have a pretty organized life. Because let's be real, most of the time we just sit on our phone and go on Instagram or something, and that's not the kind of life I want. I hope that's not the kind of life you want. I hope the kind of life you want is actually checking more videos out like this one on how to improve your productivity even more right here.